drink cinema? Jeez. Welcome to another episode of Two Drink Cinema. We are two brothers reviewing movies, two drinks at a time. Hello, Brett. Hello, Lee. Speaking of time... Oh. A new adventure is born. It is the dawn of time, the land of the dinosaur. Bambi, but with racism. (laughs) Yeah, probably. Bambi, but with racism, dinosaurs, and what I didn't know, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Uh Aha. Hmm. Neither wanted to put their full name on it. Yeah. But it is a Lucas Spielberg production. Hmm. Let's have a drink. Who's Lucas Spielberg? Um, sounds like Stephen's kid. All right, what have we got? I've made up a. I've made up a cocktail, Lee. Okay. Uh, it Good. now sets the record for most ingredients in a cocktail that we've ever made. I think. Uh, I think we've been close uh, to seven before. Was there one that had? Um, bitters doesn't count. Bitters doesn't count. <laughs> um, look, this is made up. I, there's a. Um, there's a cocktail called a green dinosaur. Okay. And so I made it an orange dinosaur that is sometimes grey. <laughs> yes. Or sometimes head is grey. Yeah, and or it depends if it's in the sun or the, in a yeah. shadow. If it's in a shadow, it's grey. Yeah. Yeah, so it has <clears throat> vodka, gin, rum, Cointreau, orange curacao, orange juice, and lemonade. And? And orange bitters. Orange bitters. I went to our friend Dan today, Stockies, up. Uh and I was like, I want something. I want a liqueur thing that's coloured orange. Yeah. Because all these are clear. So, it's just going to be a yeah, clear yeah, drink, yeah, yeah. right? It's just going to look like a lemonade. Um, so, you got the orange so curacao. The orange that. Uh, for the record, anybody that's ever wondered, orange bitters aren't orange. They're bitters coloured. <laughs> They're just white. Oh. Yeah, look. I'll do it live on air. Do it close to the camera. Look, see? Oh. White or clear? <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, this is what it is. I'm disappointed this is not Vok brand. Look, Lee, I spent a good 15 minutes since Dan Murphy's trying to find the Vok version. Because we have Vok creme de menthe, Vok, Vok blue curacao, Vok brown creme de cacao, Vok cherry brandy, Vok banana. The odd one is the premium continental liqueurs. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All but right. Hey, do you want a straw? Let's. Should I have a straw? I don't know. No, it'll clink They're my glass. Here. Okay. In front of my microphone. I'm just gonna have. Let's a try this orange dinosaur. Cheers. The dinosaur. It's orange. Has it got orange juice in it? Yeah. Like the juice of an orange. The juice of an orange. Yeah. A lot. 30 mils of the juice of an orange. Can I have this? I will stir it a little bit, actually. I told you. Um, look, there's not a lot of flavour going on there. No. it's it's It tastes like orange juice mixed with lemonade. The original recipe I had yeah. had double the amount of alcohol. But we've batch recorded tonight. It's a, it was, So we don't need double the amount of alcohol. But then when I was making it, I'm like, that's a lot of alcohol. It was... A shot of vodka, shot of gin, shot of rum, shot of Contro. Yeah, right. Mm. It's okay. It's all right. It's we'll no, probably um, feel it by the end. Yeah, it's all right. Meh. It's much like this movie. It's all right. It is all right. There is a lot of nostalgia around this movie for a number of people. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's not that good. No, it's not. I have a bit of nostalgia around this. Apparently, I used to love this when I was a kid. Yeah. Well, they made 14 movies out of it and a TV series. God. Yeah. Um, So, I'll give you a rundown of the uh, story, right? So, there are dinosaurs, and we get this kind of opening of them, like, swimming up from the... Water Uh or something, and then there are dinosaurs. There Uh are sharp tooth versus flat tooth. Yes. Ones eat leaves, ones eat the leaf eaters. 
Mm. Which is a bit of a dark introduction. Well, it's a nicer way of saying one, <laughs> one eats leaves, one eats the other dinosaurs. Yeah. The opening music is pretty epic. It's not bad. Like, James Horn has done a pretty good job. He can write a good music, that the, one. The... Uh, look is very 80s animation. Mm, very not Disney. So we've got two things. For some reason, there's no food left in the area where they filmed Robot Monster. Uh huh. And so they have to journey to where there is food. Yep. So that gives a purpose to the story. Yep. But then there is also Don't Get Eaten. Don't Get Eaten is by the, the other sharp purpose teeth. of the story. Uh, they find one leaf, which, uh, so anyway, so there's a main brontosaurus baby. A long, long neck? Long neck, mm. yeah. A long neck named Littlefoot, yeah. which I don't get. Then, so there's that family, the mum, the baby, the grandpa and the grandma. No mm. one mentions the father. The father died. Immaculate conception. Yeah. He, d- he so died during childbirth. This whole thing is an allegory for Jesus. So you're going to say alligator then? Little foot is Jesus. Okay. And the grandfather is God. <gasps> grandfather he's on a is journey God. To find God. And makes a journey mm. to send people to the promised land, just like Moses. Oh. Yeah. But on the way, don't talk to any fucking type of dinosaur that's not your own. Yeah. Stick t- stick to your own. Don't. Yep. Don't talk Do to anybody else. Do not talk to anybody else. Yeah. Racism. Uh-huh. In case you didn't get that subtle Racism. reference we were making. It's not subtle in the movie. No. Especially that little bitch, Sarah. We don't... Well, Sarah's dad. We don't talk to their kind. Yeah. I am above you. Until the T-Rex comes. Yep. And then they have to be friends. One, I didn't like that they called it a leaf, uh, tree star... Just call it a leaf. Yeah. Like, oh, I suppose they don't know. They don't speak the same. Well, they do. They speak English. Um, you know yeah. what I mean, though. But they they're called long necks name. and three horns and spike tails and big heads and whatever. Yeah. Which is odd. Flyers. Yeah. And swimmers and junk. The. Although there's no leaves on the trees, there seems to be a lot of grass around that no one eats. Because they're leaf eaters. They're not grass eaters. Oh, okay. My yeah, apologies. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not actually herbivores. They're leafivores. They're just purely leaves. Tree star Herbivores are vegetarians. Leaf eaters are oh, vegan. Oh, okay. Yep. yep. They don't My eat apologies. things that are grown out of the ground, just off a tree. Yep. All right. That's fair. I just made that up just now. <laughs> There's... The thing that's like the T Rex is pretty intense. Yeah, that whole scary thing. But the music isn't scary music. No, it's kind of like victorious action music. Yeah. Until the mum has a big chunk missing from her back. Oh, the mum! Like a big chunk, uh, and the mum dies. Oh, sad. Poor mum. And so Mama. Littlefoot cries and cries and cries, and then bumps into an old man, Spike Tail. Yeah, well, could th- that yes, who yeah. talks about the circle of life? Uh huh. A banana, a banana, banana. The, Different circle. The of antelope life. eat the grass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, or they they don't an antelope vegan or vegetarian? No, the antelope eat the grass. Eat the grass, so they're vegetarians. Yeah. And then we eat the antelope. Yeah. And then when we die, we feed the grass, which and feeds the, the antelope. Yeah. I saw a meme today that had that bit of Mufasa's speech, and then a little like cartoony Simba say. But if the antelope just die naturally, don't they just feed the grass for everyone to eat? Uh Uh-huh. That's how life works. And then uh, Simba goes, it feels like you're just making up this circle of life thing to make yourself feel better about eating the antelope. So the decaying flesh and rotted animals become detritus, which helps the mulching process of the grass. No, no, I understand that. I was just talking about a meme that I saw. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, and I'll Simba move on. being a smart ass. Yeah. Fucking Jonathan Taylor. Um, and then Mufasa kills Simba in the meme, not in the movie. Oh. Yeah. It gets dark. As this but then movie the antelope does. kills the lion in a herd. Anyway, we're getting, we're, we'll do that next year. Well, lion uh, King not is next year. intentionally. 
That was Scar's fault. And that's the circle of life with one remainder. Well, that's the circle of life with a little like oot bit that goes in. So it looks mm. like a Pac-Man when Scar does something yeah. and then the circle continues. Mm. The earth shake, as one of the little kid dinosaurs... caused That was caused by a fight between a long neck and a sharp tooth. Yes. Yes. I think that's a pretty good story device to separate the kids from their parents without yep. killing all the parents. Yes. I think one parent dying per animated movie is enough. They're not orphans then. They're just lost. No, they're just lost, except for Littlefoot, who is an orphan. Uh Uh-huh. And I didn't write a lot of notes about this movie. (laughs) Neither did I. Could be a quick episode. So, yes, they're traveling along and they are try- he's trying to find his way and then they're friends and then they're not friends and, and then they're friends, friends and then they're not friends. And then they meet this little and then band of things. He's Dorothy. He has a little There's sad a moment. a scarecrow and a lion. And- he has a little sad moment where he thinks his own shadow is his mother. Oh. And then he goes and licks the rock and that's when he realizes it's not his mother. Because his mother doesn't taste like rock. Not all so smart. Yeah. Little I wrote foot, a couple of brain. things. Oh, it's odd. Well, they apparently they have got little brains. Brontosauri. Yeah, I don't know how we know fossils. I found it odd that one was called Littlefoot and uh-huh. one was called Sarah. Yep. But then I realised later that Sarah is in Triceratops. Yes. And Petrie is in Pterodactyl. Yes, Pteri. Pteri. But Spike is not in Stegosaurus. And what is Ducky? And Ducky is not in Parallelovrophilus. I need an eight-year-old yeah. autistic boy to be able to pronounce <laughs> some of these dinosaur names. Parasaurolophus. Yeah. Parasaurolophus. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And Littlefoot is not in Brontosaurus. Couldn't you just call him like Bronte? Made a girl named Bronte, a girl named Sarah, boy named Petrie, boy named... Steve. Stego. Stego. He's Steg. Greek. He's Greek. And a one called Paris. Sure. Paris is a person name. Look, I was like, I watched this a lot as a kid, apparently, on VHS. <laughs> apparently. Um, and then I was like, oh, there were a few bits I remember. Yeah. You know, when that, I think it was Sarah, couldn't, didn't quite hatch properly, and it's just the egg and the legs. Mm-mm. I remember that. That goes for about four frames of yeah. the movie. I remember that. Maybe that's why. It's half the movie. Um, <laughs> and then as I was like, oh, I, can't, I don't know if I all remember all these characters. And then as soon as I saw Ducky, I was like, ah, yeah. yeah. Nostalgia. He's the one that Pretty says, sure I had a toy. don't step on a crack or you'll fall and break your back. Yeah. And he also says when they meet Petrie, you didn't fly, you fooled. Oh, he's so <laughs> cute. All the little dino voices are cute. So cute. They've Except got, Sarah, she's a bitch. Well. well, I'm pretty sure Sarah was played by Kate Capshaw. Well, because she's just screaming. The amount of squealing that Complaining Sarah did. and squealing. Yeah. Complaining and squealing and not want to be friends with yeah. the main male character. It's, it's Ooh, Kate Capshaw. All but then over they're again. friends in the end. Yeah. In, in quotation marks. Um, they, found, they find the dead. Sarah finds the dead T Rex at the bottom of the thing and she's pretty antagonistic of this dead t-rex like if i was a little baby dinosaur i'd still be scared i'd be like it's dead let's fuck yeah, off let's get out of here but it's alive let's get out of here but it's alive yeah um so overall story wise there's the goal to get to the great valley but there's the threat of the sharp tooths particularly this one t-rex but then other than that really it's just like little bits and pieces of cute dinosaur things You know what I found interesting? Yeah. They stumble upon one tree. Yeah. And then they think that's the Great Valley. I forgive them. Yep, they're kids. We're on, you know, there's uh, evidence to suggest that Littlefoot is not the smartest dinosaur. Yes. Um, Fossils. And then they just stand there like, yay. And then all the other dinosaurs eat the leaves and they're like, piss off. That's our leaves. Yeah. I'm like, well, no. Yeah. Capitalism hasn't been invented yet. Yeah. It's not your leaves. It's not finders keepers. Yeah. They, yeah, but they find enough leaves to keep them going. Yeah. So they can have their little bonding moment where they cuddle. Yeah. 
in the footprint of a T Rex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then shock horror, a T Rex finds them. Yeah. I feel bad for T Rexes. They get a bad rap. Like, why are they always the baddie? Because they eat everything. But that's the circle of life, Lee. That's true. Lions aren't bad. Manana, hinana, manana. From the day we arrive on this planet. So there are some scary moments in the movie, a couple of T-Rex things, and then when the volcano eruption happens, mm. that's pretty full on. Yeah. They do decide to knock out the T-Rex. Yes. Purely so that Sarah has a reason to come back and help them. They need her hard head to knock that rock off. Yes. So that she can join them. And then they find the Great Valley and everyone is there. Yeah, done. And then for some reason, we get an odd montage recap of the film at the end. Uh-huh. And the kill the kids stop the racism. Yeah. Because they're all friends in the Great Valley. Yeah. Enter narrator. Which could be the whole comment of the whole movie. If there is enough for everybody to share peacefully, maybe racism wouldn't be as much of a thing. Mm. Maybe not. I don't know if they were trying to get that deep. Don Bluth. Um, no comment on current political climates. Yes. Cool. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> it is a very simple story. It's a very simple story. It's a very simple movie. It's a very short movie. Yeah, and it's just... There's kid dinosaurs that are cute that need to go from here to here and one's mum died. Yep. And there's, you know, a little bit of like Sarah hates the others and doesn't want to be friends but then realises... conflict. As with most kids' movies, that being having friends is good. Yep. Um, so there's that, which yeah. is a pretty child movie, family movie trope. Uh-huh. What's the impact? 14 sequels in a TV yeah. series. Yeah. So, um, yes, there are... Oh, gosh, like movies. Yep. Land Before Time. Yes. The Great Valley Adventure. Yep. The Time of Great Giving. Journey Through the Mists. Are these the Land Before Time movies? Yeah. Or, okay, are they not inspired by No, these are like the whole series. Yep. The Secret... Oh, The Mysterious Island. The Secret of S- Saurus Rock. The Stone of Cold Fire. These almost sound like Game of Thrones things. The Big Freeze. Oh, Ice Age 1. Mm. Ice Age prequel. Journey to Big Water. <laughs> the Great Long Neck Migration. Okay. These all sound like they're the same story. <laughs> yeah. Except for this one. Invasion of the Tiny Sauruses. Okay. Are they mm. humans? No, they're tiny dinosaurs. Or birds. Um, the Great... Day of the Flyers. Okay. The Wisdom of Friends. And Journey of the Brave. Oh. And there was a television sh- series um, that went for one season. <laughs> 26 episodes. Um, the series has spawned 14 spin-off games. Oh, wow. Eight for PC, one for Game Boy Color, two for the Game Boy Advance, and three for the original PlayStation. Ooh. Mm, the PC games are usually educational game days for preschool and kindergarten. All right. Um, the only thing I remember from the original PlayStation is NBA 95. I remember there was a... Oh, no, was that an original Nintendo? There was some game where you were a chick and you had to like, whip your hair. And you whipped your hair and killed people. Oh, yeah. You were like... Wacha! Yep. That's the thing. Willow Smith. That's what it, That was it. <laughs> yeah. Um, to slap Chris Rock with your hair. <laughs> yeah. So it, yep. an American tale, yep. and who framed Roger Rabbit led Spielberg to found his own animation studio. Yes. Amblimation. Right. Yeah. I could not tell you an Amblimation movie, so I'm quickly just going to look at that. Yeah. Um, it has three. <laughs> it made three movies. Was it those three? An American Tale, Farvel Goes West. Okay. We're Back, A Dinosaur's Story, and Bolto were made in 91, 93, 95, and that's it. But then did Amblimation become DreamWorks? No. I don't think so. 
Because oh, DreamWorks we, Animation. Didn't we talk about... Um, yeah. So Amblimation was the British animation production subsidiary of Amblin Entertainment. Uh, Amblin Entertainment. The studio Form, closed yeah. in 1997 after only eight years of operations and its office building became a self-storage facility called Access Self Storage. All 250 of Amblimation's crew members went on to join DreamWorks uh, Animation. DreamWorks Animation formed as a division of DreamWorks Pictures in 1994 with yeah. alumni from Amblim Entertainment's former animation brands, Amblimation. Yes. And it was founded by um, David Geffen, formerly CEO of Disney, Jeffrey Katzenberg, former CEO of Disney, and Steven Spielberg. Yeah. So, yeah, because when we talked about A Bug's Life... We talked about A Bug's Life versus Ants. Yes, yes, And we yes. talked about Spielberg being at the start of DreamWorks. Yeah. Um, I have one final potential bit of impact. Okay. The Dinosaurs TV show. God, that was good. <laughs> Don't creepy. hit the mama. God. Don't hit the mama. That's more what it was. Yeah, Fuck yeah. that little baby. There is a bar yep. near me called Littlefoot. Oh. It's in Footscray. I think that's why the foot comes I, in. Um, foot. I know the owner. Maybe I'll ask him. Yeah, please yeah. do. Are you a Land Before Time fan? I'll add that to my portfolio. Yeah, right. Um, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, speaking of that's it, I don't have any notes for awards. I have um, no worst extra. I was not very engaged in the movie, I'll be honest. No, neither was I. <laughs> um, I have no notes for worst extra. Okay. Maybe Spike. I don't know. No, he was good there. Um, the two awards I have for the Estelle Reiner Best Extra Award mm-hmm. have two nominees. The bug that shoots Sarah in the face. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. And then there's a little baby bird. When Littlefoot's all sad. Oh. The little baby bird that's like, have my cherry. Pterodactyl. Not a bird. Flyer, sorry. <laughs> the little, little flyer. Just, it's just I have my cherry. Yeah, have the little I think the cherry berry. thing. It's very cute. Yeah. I could see that in a Happy Meal toy. Worst extra. I'm just trying to think. I don't know. It's Again, it's hard animated. The shaft tooth. Sarah's dad. <laughs> the racist father. <laughs> um, no, just no worst extra for this animated yeah, one. Cool. Best, best extra. Is the little flyer. Little flyer, what I assume is a cherry. Little flyer gives a berry. Um, I have one worst line. Yep. Halle Berry, X-Men. Worst the Halle Berry, yep. It's all her fault. Yeah. So he is sad because his mum died. Yeah. Fair enough, right? Yep. She died saving your life and then you're like, bitch, it's yeah. all her fault she's dead. It's all dead. her fault. Well, no, it's kind of yours. But anyway, but it's not. Yep. So yep. that's my nomination for worst line. Can I nominate for most iconic scene the bit where Sarah just has her legs out of the egg? I was going to nominate when the mum dies. Because <laughs> that's what people remember from it. It's like traumatic, yep. you know, yep. kind of thing when the mum dies. Or is it when they see the Great Valley at the end? Yeah, no, I think it's when the mum dies. Okay. Wake up. This is uh, Whatever he the says. shortest episode so far, um, and that's that's all that's all we have. Okay, for, for um, let's discuss a top five. Okay, so, all right, because yeah. we're reviewing Land Before Time, which is an animated dinosaur movie for Two Drink Cinema, because uh-huh. it's on the list and it's got a thirty-five year anniversary. Yeah, who doesn't? Let's decide live. Yep. On our top five movies with dinosaurs. Movies with dinosaurs I've, in them? I've dinosaur movies. Broadened it from movies, from dinosaur movies, because otherwise okay. it's, it's Jurassic World, well, Fallen either, Kingdom. Either way. Land Before Time, blah, blah, blah Jurassic Park, number yeah, one. Right? Either way. Even movies with dinosaurs, Jurassic Park's number one. So let's yeah. lock that in. Okay, we'll lock that in. Okay. So, other ones I thought of. Uh huh. The Flintstones. Oh, yeah, Dino's not, a dinosaur. Not the Flintstones in Viva Rock no. Flintstones, yeah. 
Land King, before time. King Kong has a dinosaur in it. Okay. Land before time. Which version? All of them. <laughs> All of them, I think. I would also nominate Land Before Time, The Mystery of Ice Rock, or whatever the <laughs> fucking one is. Um, there's an Ice Age movie with dinosaurs in it, but yeah. I haven't seen it. Jurassic World is not awful, is it? The first one? No, Jurassic World is okay. Looking at the list, I googled best dinosaur we movies. We did just do Robot Monster. I suppose we're saying yes, best, aren't we? that's true. Um, so, I, I, I'm... I'm not trusting Google yeah. about movies. Okay. Right? Can I give you a list? I've Googled best dinosaur movies. Land of the Lost, Will uh-huh. Ferrell, is up there. A Disney movie just called Dinosaur. The Good Dinosaur. No, no. A Disney but movie just called Dinosaur. Well. Good Dinosaur. Disney Pixar, The Good Dinosaur. Land Before Time is on there. Jurassic World Dominion. King Kong, The Flintstones, Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, Journey to the Centre of the Earth, The Flintstones. Then we also have The Tree of Life. The Tree of Life. I haven't seen that. But I didn't see Super Mario Brothers. Yoshi. Okay. (laughs) Men in Black 3. No, I can't remember. This one. Mrs. Doubtfire. Fuck. <laughs> it, was, it was nice knowing you. What the fuck? Because he... Hey, you, I'm a... Because yep. he does get yep. absolutely stuffed. In order to make our list decent, can we count it, though? I think we might have to. <laughs> well, um, then it's number one. No. <laughs> uh, Fantasia is up there. Um, okay. Bob the Builder, the Big Dino Dig, the movie, <laughs> and Minions. What about Line at the Museum? There'd be a that's in there. There'd yeah. be a skeleton in there. Yeah, yeah. But look, so there is we've there got, is first place and equal everything else. Like, well, the Jurassic, the Flintstones is above Jurassic World and Land Before Time for me. Yeah, I haven't seen Night at the Museum. Neither. But it's not a dinosaur movie. That's why it's I said movie movies with, with dinosaurs. dinosaurs. You know what I mean? But it's not, there's no dinosaur in it. Also, even though Yoshi um, is potentially a dinosaur in Mario, mm. Super Mario Brothers is a movie that came up on a lot of suggested lists when we looked at our top five bad movies last yesterday oh. for um, Robot Monster. So okay. we can't put that in good movies with dinosaurs in it. Hmm. So I think we've got Jurassic World. Yeah. The Good Dinosaur. Yeah, I haven't seen The Good Dinosaur, but we can put that in. We Do know you, it's good. Have you you've seen King Kong? Yeah, I've seen the original. I haven't seen any of the new ones. I assume there's a dinosaur I have in no there. No recollection. I suppose they go to the island and maybe there's a dinosaur and he kills. But why would there be a dinosaur? It's modern. No, well no, because it's a it's a we it's a weird island. That results in a big gorilla. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah. So Jurassic World number five. The Good Dinosaur number four. Yeah. Land Before Time number three. Yeah. The Flintstones number two. Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park number one. Okay. Sure, right. whatever. Just to get something in our top five slot for this week. You know what we should do, Lee? Next week's movie. Um. We haven't done one of these for a while. A Six Degrees? No, a Robin Williams movie. Oh. <laughs> we were a little That's bit true. We were a little bit traumatized by Robin Williams movies after we decided to do the two worst Robin Williams movies. Two of the worst. I can't we haven't remember done what RV. they were. One hour photo. Uh, and his other scary Something one. Something else bad. No, it wasn't a scary one. It was just bad. One hour photo wasn't great. We did Fern Gully, but that was good. Robin Williams movies ranked. This is really bad. Um, Birdcage. We've done Birdcage. That's good. We did that. Flubber. 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 Of course. So we've done 
Mrs. Doubtfire. Aladdin. Yep. Birdcage. Did Birdcage on Rainbow Fox. Flubber. Yep. One Hour Photo. Yep. Fern Gully. We've, we've done, done six. Six. Robin Williams movies. That's almost as many Dennis Leary movies as we've done. <laughs> um, we are now going to do Patch Adams, which was released in 1998. So it is I 25 remember, years old. I remember seeing this in a double feature at a drive-in Ooh. in, I want to say, Cairns. Yeah, yeah. With Shakespeare in Love. Odd. It was Patch Adams, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm making this up, yep. which is a possibility. Yeah. I'll check my diary that I took <laughs> when a trip around oh, yeah. Australia. I've got it in the cupboard there. 25 years ago. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Patch Adams and Shakespeare in Love. Okay. So, um, we're not going to do a Six Degrees because... Because who's in it? Well... George Lucas and Steven Spielberg are the only way we're going to be able to connect them. James Horner. We did one the last time with... Um, Couldn't we go James Horner to Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic and then wasn't Robin Williams in Who's Eating Gilbert Crepe? No, I don't oh, I think so. Was. We did something with confused. with someone. <laughs> last... I know we, we had to look it up though. Pat Hingle, he was someone. Well, why don't you tell me the top IMDb known for for Robin Williams? Um, I'm going to go with Goodwill Hunting. Okay. This isn't in order. Yep. Goodwill Hunting. Um, I want to say Mrs. Doubtfire, but I don't think it'll be there. Keep going. Something with him. So are you saying Mrs. Doubtfire or I'll not? I'll say Mrs. Doubtfire. I'll say Mrs. Doubtfire. Yep. The one I said before. Goodwill Hunting. Yep. Um... I want to say Aladdin, but I don't think it would be. Mm. I'll go Aladdin. Mm. And then I would go Dead Poet Society. Mrs. Doubtfire number one. Okay, good. I got that right. Then. Goodwill Hunting number three. Oh. Your other two aren't in there. Oh. Number two, Good Morning Vietnam. That was I was almost going to say that, Lee. And I didn't think it would number be. four. Mork and Mindy. One Hour Photo. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, so who else Ooh. is in Patch Adams? Is Gwyneth in it? Is that you think that's why it was in a double with? I don't know. I remember not Love. liking it for some reason, and I'm pretty sure uh, it was Gwyneth Robin. Will, no, Monica Potter. Oh, that's right. Um, Daniel London, Philip Seymour Hoffman, uh, Joseph Soma. You'd know, um, and Irma P. Hall, a woman of color, is in a movie from 1998. Well done! Wow. And it's not... Um, it's not a huge It's cut. not Angela Bassett. It, yeah. It's very much uh, Robin Williams is A-list, and then there are B-lists after that. Philip Seymour Hoffman, 1998, was B-plus list. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. an inter- What? It wasn't... Philip Seymour Hoffman... It wasn't until into the 2000s, mm, that's I reckon, true. that Philip Seymour Capote Hoffman was coming. A-list. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree. I reckon. Yeah. What's his top four, do you reckon? Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. Do we go off popularity? Oh, well, that's why. Because I, I, can't, I can't work it out. Because you would say Capote. Okay. You would then potentially say Hunger Games. Yeah. One of them. Yep. You could say Charlie Wilson's War. Mm. And then you could say Boogie Nights. So, what you would should have said, The Master. That's the other one. Capote. I was in there, yay. Almost Famous. Oh, I watched that not long ago. How bad is that? Before the Devil Knows You're Dead. Oh, of course. What the... F- so, he's, he was an A-list. So, before this, right? He'd been in Boogie Nights. He'd been in Twister. <gasps> That's how we did. But he wasn't big in, like... Stuff, yeah, right. So, like, Boogie Nights was a bigish movie that he was a small part in. He was in The Big Lebowski, um, but then like Patch Adams becomes a thing. Almost Famous is a reasonable size movie. Yeah, he's in Red Dragon. It wasn't really until Capote 
that people are like, oh, fuck, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I worked out um, how we did our... Um, Doubt, the boat that rocked. Doubt was good. Um, Moneyball, the master. Um, Hunger Games. I worked out how we did our six degrees. We did... Okay. The, did we do the Exorcist to Land Before Time? The Exorcist to Land Before Time, yes. Because Pat Hinkle, who is yep. the narrator slash the voice of that one that's like, cheer up, kid. Um, yep. Played Commissioner Gordon in Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. Yeah, right. So that's how we somehow got back to how we did it. Okay, so let's go from Pat Hinkle to Robin Williams. Yeah. Robin Williams almost played the Joker in the first Batman. That would have been so good. But, but also, also Jack very different. Jack Nicholson is fantastic. Michelle Pfeiffer... Jim Carrey, Tommy Lee Jones, mm. Uma Thurman, George Clooney, Chris O'Donnell. The guy who plays Alfred is also in all four of them. Alicia Silverstone, Mel McPherson, Christopher Walken. Um, yeah, surely Christopher Walken can get us to Robin Williams through John Travolta. You know, it's a bad thing again that I'm struggling to think of Robin Williams' movies, even though we've now done six or seven of them. Was Ethan Hawke in Dead Poets? Ethan Hawke? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's with Uma Thurman. In Gattaca. And Life. <laughs> <laughs> so so we Pat go Hinkle. Robin Williams to Ethan Hawke to Uma Thurman to Pat Hinkle. Okay. Okay. And for those that... Object to uh, family connections. They were in Gattaca together. Yes. Okay. To keep it purely All professional. Right. Sorry we had to look it up, but Land Before Time is not a cast movie. I will promise you this, listeners, mm. for the next six degrees, I will not look up anything. I don't think you'll have to. I will not look up anything. You have my word. All right. I've already got something in mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for listening to another episode of Two Drink Cinema, a short bonus episode on The Land Before Time this week. Make sure you hit subscribe and like if you are on YouTube and hit subscribe on your podcast platform. Leave us a rating and review if your podcast platform allows it. And join the Facebook group if you'd like to let us know other dinosaur movies or anything about movies. You can also get in touch with us on the socials at Two Out of Three Brothers to request movies. Yes. As someone has done, Ooh. and we will have a meeting about following this episode. Good, because I've still got half a cocktail to yeah, drink. Yeah, great. <laughs> thank you for listening, and thank you for speaking, Brett. No worries, Lee. Cheers. Thanks for listening to Two Drink Cinema. We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this podcast was produced and pay our respects to Elders past and present. If you'd like to support the podcast, either leave the tip or become a member for early access to these episodes by using the link in the show notes. Join the Facebook group for more chat about the movies we review and make sure you follow us on the socials to keep up to date. Hit the subscribe button and leave us a review on your podcast app. Happy viewing and drink responsibly.